Hello YouTube. So this is going to be the second last video, pretty much, of the series I've been doing about how to solve a Mega Mix. Um, so this is the last layer one, and this can have a lot of content. So the, what I'm going to be showing you in this video is going to be like a beginner's, more beginner's way of doing it. However, it does have the same steps. Um, and for each step, which I'll na be naming in a second, I'll have a more advanced video you can look at, and it'll show more advanced tips, tricks, algorithms and stuff you can use. So, yeah, that's it. So, the first step, once you've done the S2L, is um, edge orientation. So here the edges are all oriented. Now, corner orientation, all the corners are oriented. Um, edge permutation, so you see all of the edges are permuted, and then finally the corner permutation, which will solve the cube. So <clears throat> now the first step, I use. So I'd like to note that for this video, it's pretty much only three by three algorithms I use. So it's very simple. No need to learn pretty much. Well, at least for the beginners one, you shouldn't need to learn any new algorithms. Um, so, first of all, for edge orientation, there are, uh, two algorithms, actually, um, that you'll need to know for this tutorial. So, it's the, uh, well, <coughs> preferably this algorithm, the F, sexy, F prime. So, it's this OLL case. And, <coughs> you'll need to know either this case, which is like F U R well, at least one algorithm that does um like two adjacent centers, so it can be that or it can be something like this F R U R whatever thing. Or even something like this. All three of those algorithms I just mentioned work on the Megaminx. So you can use whichever of those you want, or whichever you know. So, <clears throat> first I'm going to start with this case. This is like an arrow. So, ignore all the corners. Pretend they're not there, because we're working on edge orientation. So, no corners involved right now. So, I've got like an arrow pointing to the right. So this is how you want to place it for this case. So, when you've got three edges oriented, and they're in this kind of shape, so let's say like this, you want to orient it so that the arrow points to the right. So the small end, I guess, is to the right. And then you can do the first algorithm. So something like this, F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And that will orient your edges for this case. Um, now the next case which is when you've got um, three edges oriented once again however they're all stuck in a clump as opposed to like making like a line or an arrow and you're gonna put them, the three edges on the top left like this so that it forms a I don't know what this is but like a thing on the top left um, so now the algorithm is gonna be the second one I just mentioned, well, yeah, that I mentioned, so one of the algorithms that does one of these cases on 3x3, three three. so it can be F, whatever. One of the ones I mentioned, and you can do this one here, and it's going to orient your edges. Now for the third of those cases, okay, that's when there's only one edge oriented. So that's the equivalent of... Not a second. Okay. Okay, uh, it's the equivalent of having no edges oriented on 3x3. Three three. So, what you're going to do is you're going to make the one oriented edge, and you're going to make it point towards the top left, so as I have it right now. And you're going to do the first algorithm I mentioned, so F, sexy move, F prime. And then you can do U2 to place it so that the arrow points to the right, and you can do the same algorithm once again. 
So those are the three edge orientation cases. I'm going to go through them again quickly. The arrow, make it point to the right. F, sexy, F prime. Now, when there's three edges, you make a point. Either you put them at the top left, and you do the this one of the second algorithm I showed. It's gonna be like uh, example F U R U prime R prime F prime. Now the final case um, is when there's just one edge oriented. You put it at the top left F sexy F prime U two F sexy F prime. And you've got the edges oriented. So now for the corner orientation. Um, no, this is the beginner method. Well, beginner. Yeah, whatever. Um, so I should have linked for a more advanced edge orientation one. And I'm um, linking right now. There will be an annotation for a more advanced form of corner orientation. However, I suggest you watch the less advanced parts before because it might be useful. So this one we're going to be using a corner twist kind of thing commutator-ish. So it's kind of like on 3x3 three three beginner method. Well, the Dan Brown method, the last step where it's like R prime, D prime thing. So instead of doing Ds, I find Ds suck. So I'm just going to do a rotation and the uh, algorithm is going to be U prime, R prime, U, R. So U prime, R prime, U, R, U prime, R prime, U, R. And then once you see that the edge is oriented, so the right color on the top, you're just going to switch corners with an L. Same thing, U prime, R prime, U, R, U prime, R prime, U, R. It's oriented. Next corner, U prime, R prime, U, R, U prime, R prime, U, R. And there you have it. And now I'm just going to do another case, another example. Um, okay, keep getting the same case. Here. So, unoriented corner, I put it here. U prime, R prime, U, R, U prime, R, R prime, U, R. If it doesn't get oriented the first time, just do it again. U prime, R prime, U, R, U prime, R prime, U, R. Change the corner. U prime R prime U R 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 change corner U prime R prime U R U prime R prime U R change corner U prime R prime U R U prime R prime U R It's not extremely fast, but it's still um pretty fast as opposed to like another way of orienting corners, which is just doing soon at random. It's a lot faster than that way. The the way I showed you is a lot faster than the other way. Um. Now this is the edge permutation. So this one we're gonna have to know just a second. Two pretty standard PLL algorithms. Okay. T perm. So just like this. And Y perm. So like this. Well, in this case, so the, those are the two algorithms you'll need to know <coughs> for this, and I'll put all the algorithms in the description. So, the first case is if you have two edges oriented. Oh, uh, sorry. So, once you get to this case, you're just gonna do like U or U prime or whatever until you see that you have two edges which match the center. So here I just have one. So I'm going to do another U prime. There's none and just do another one. Now here you can see these two edges match their centers or their colors or whatever. So now if these two are adjacent, so one beside the other, I'm going to check here. If this color, so the green, if it belongs here, so on this green, which it does, because so green belongs to green, then I'm going to do a Y perm. So, like this. And now you can see all the edges are at the right spot. However, if I see that um, this edge, color of pink, does not belong here, because this is green, so it does not belong there. 
Then I'm gonna just gonna <coughs> do another one. Like, um, I'm gonna realign the U layer until I have another two. So here I've got another two that are adjacent. So I know that it's the, one of the Y prime cases. So I check if this color goes here. This is light yellow. And this is yellow, light yellow. So yes, this does go there. So I'm gonna do a Y perm. And the edges are all permuted. Now the next case, so I'm done the OLO, and then I'm just doing this until I get two. Now I see there's two edges that have this that are um, correctly have the same color as the centers or whatever. So these are one opposite kind of well they're kind of opposite to each other. So I'm going to place them like this. <coughs> so one at the front and the other one at the back right. Now, since they're opposite, I'm going to check this piece here once again. And I can't go here because this one's already solved. So if this one can go here, then it's good as it is now because green goes to green. Then I can do T perm. Like this. And now you can see all the edges are uh, permuted correctly. However, <coughs> if I'm like this and I see that this the yellow doesn't go here because this is green like the other one I'm just going to do random use until I get it until there's another two that are correctly aligned here there's one so no <clears throat> here there is two so I'm going to check here this one does it go here yes it does T -bar. <coughs> now finally if after I do this five times and like once I'm done OLL, you see there's only one, so this is not good. I do U prime, there's only one, it's not good. If I do this one, it's only one, it's not good. Only one, it's not good. Only one, and it's not, so it's not good. If I do this five times in a row, this is a kind of less good case. So I just do anywhere I want, just do T perm, followed by Y perm. And then they're all permuted correctly relative to each other. I've just got to adjust it so that they're all right. Um, I'm going to do another walkthrough of this, of the edge permutation step. So here, I've got two that are aligned. I check here. This one, does it go here? No, it doesn't. So I'm just going to continue aligning the up face. There's none. There's only one. So there's none. There's two now, so I'm going to check. Does this one go here? Yes, it does. So I'm going to do a wipe room. Oh, and remember, I had to do a wipe room. Okay. Sorry about this. Just a second. I had to do a wipe room because these two are adjacent. If they were opposite to each other, then I'd have to do a T perm. So now, um, once your edges are permuted, You've only got a few corners left. Now this is relatively simple. It's um, algorithmless. It's we use a commutator. So what we do is we go to a corner which is not solved. In this case, none of them are, and we're going to take it, bring it down, uh, bring it down, and then we're going to move it to the side, and then bring this thing up again. And then we're going to check here. This is uh, gray, blue, and yellow. So we're going to go to the blue and yellow middles and we're going to bring it here because this one belongs there so you're going to bring this down and then swap them and then bring this, up, this back up now I'm going to check here this is uh, gray, pink, yellow so no gray, pink, yellow is here this one goes there so I'm going to do this and then I'm going to swap them again notice though I'm going the opposite direction as the other one because the other one I went like this bring this up now this one is gray orange blue so I'm going to get the gray orange blue here and then I'm going to swap this one with this one so I'm going to bring this down swap it bring it up now gray pink green I'm going to go find these two centers gray um, green and pink swap it and then I'm going to finally this is the green orange green orange bring it here and then swap it or whatever and now you've solved your mega Okay. Now there's like 
there's a tricky case which I should talk about. So, like for example, if I have two two swaps, I go for the commutator, of course. Bring this one down. This one goes here. So this is because it's green orange. So I get the green orange here. Swap it. As usual, this green pink goes here. Go like this. Swap it. But oh, this doesn't go anywhere. How bizarre. So naturally, I would go to one of the unsolved ones and go and bring it out. Oh no, you can't do this because if this is like your second time going to get an edge <coughs> corner you can't swap it like this because that will mess up the bottom face what you've got to do is continue the pattern so swap it the other way and now this is gray, blue, yellow bring it down and swap it um, readjust the face because this one is um, orange blue orange blue put it in and now you just gotta readjust it and you've solved your Megaminx <coughs> so that was about it for the um, corner permutation now I'm just gonna do a final uh, last layer Megaminx walkthrough just gonna scramble it a bit okay so I'm gonna do edges we've got three here I'm just gonna do F do whatever thing like this. Now for the corner, so I've done edge orientation. Now corner orientation. U prime R prime U R. U prime R prime U R. Now the next unoriented corner. Here U prime R prime U R. U prime R prime U R. Next unoriented corner. U prime R prime U R. U prime R prime U R. The rest solves itself. So now edge permutation. So here there's only one, so it's not good. Here there's only one again, it's not good. Here there's only one again, it's not good. Here only one again, it's not good. Only one again, it's not good. So now I've done this five times, so I know that I have the the uh, third case that I mentioned where I have to do T perm followed by Y perm. So I'll do this T perm, Y perm. Now I'll just adjust it so until the, they solve each, they get solved. Now the final step, corner permutation, the commutator, take out the edge, corner, whatever, um, blue yellow, so it goes here, and then just continue swapping it, then green goes here, continue swapping, and there you have it. So I'm just going to do a, um, another, another part as a conclusion and don't forget that um, I'm linking more videos in this one for more advanced ways of doing the steps that I showed you so edge orientation, corner orientation, edge permutation and corner permutation so this is just more the easier way of doing it in the others I'll be showing more advanced techniques and algorithms you can use to speed it up even more so once again, if there's any uh, comments or anything about this video, comment. Um, I've put algorithms in the description. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, thanks for watching.